hello guys so today we're going to see what is a view model so uh, see so normally we know that uh, model so model helps us to uh, create uh, some properties that property you can use to uh, bind the data and you can map to the object so uh, here I'm uh, have uh, my sample applications this application is I generated from the default uh, the template that provided by the uh, team so that I implemented so here I have a uh, uh, few models uh, that account view models uh, companies and uh, the patient models and identity model see normally this identity model uh, uh, created my uh, code first approach uh, uh, database object and uh, it's uh, inserting my data so we don't want to talk about much there see uh, actually mm, here I have a login method so login method so normally a login method has uh, the uh, basically it's a standard now for the trend email and the password or username uh, password uh, if you enter the username and password and extra field called uh, remember me normally you will get so uh, with that uh, three fields you can authenticate and you can go ahead but uh, from the back end uh, you need a additional field uh, suppose uh, see when this user is created when he is uh, uh, registered when he lost uh, um, uh, logged in and uh, what is his uh, user types so a lot of stuffs maybe uh, database object contains but in a view only we going to display the three fields for that uh, we uh, create the one more uh, model called a login model so that is all uh, exist in the account v model so the v model will hold only the few data that is needed for only the view see uh, this three field okay so here you can set uh, your data annotations data annotation helps us to validate the field so that is what all about but if you go on to see the database uh, model you have lot of uh, stuffs in it okay so now uh, so uh, this login model uh, okay if I go on to see my view okay I just close other stuffs to not confuse much okay so login model it's inheriting my model uh, folder and uh, under that model login view model so that login view model is act my model so on posting it will uh, take me to the account login controller here uh, i'm getting the model uh, property see uh, if uh, now i going to uh, do some uh, set of operation you don't worry about that but uh, if you go and see this method uh, password sign in i just go inside So here, uh, it accepting uh, me that uh, uh, actually passwords and here I'm using the Woven Katana uh, uh, Microsoft identity. So it uh, directly accept my username, password, and the persistent, and it will uh, create my uh, database objects. So if you mouse over, so see, uh, it accept my the application user model. So if you see here, this is what the main the class that we have here so application user if you go and see here you will see all the uh, database object in it so that will be uh, predefined over here so this is uh, added in the my model so this contain lot of uh, other stuffs in it but see from the view I need to get only the email and the password and the remember me that uh, you if you inject inside it, this will handle so far that you no need to use the database object like application users directly into your view and uh, email so other uh, field uh, see uh, other stuffs you needed this uh, this many other uh, parameters it's uh, asking to um, enter see uh, boolean is persistent cookie should uh, log uh, log out so should log out what is the contents that if you try invalid password three times it will be logged out so a uh, lot of other object uh, in the database generally so I will open and show you the table as well for the user table so 
so uh, if you go and uh, see the the object which is created for the application user have um, more field like this but uh, in a view model the simple way that whatever the data that you want to get from the view like a clean code you can create a one more a model and you can map it to the method see database object method uh, contains uh, different stuffs see this uh, the tu uh, tutorial that I am showing is default the generated for the login under registration for the authentication so uh, that is what all about here so no problem in it so if uh, you have a different object uh, like you go and create one DB set uh, kind of system users system user have a lot of fields what I before I explained so that there from the view only you required email and password and background you 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 will check that uh, see suppose the next level that uh, after login I need to redirect to admin if the user type is admin so you are defining one field uh, as a user type so that you no need to uh, represent in the login view model so login view model only it is just a model that uh, present in the view I hope so you understand what I am trying to tell so only uh, for the view whatever the fields of whatever the data you need to collect so that you can create one more a model and that model you can insect to the object uh, database object hopes you understand so still if you not you please uh, try in your application creating a one more model for the view and go and in, uh, inject with uh, your database uh, because normally user type uh, other blob blob stuffs at all you are going and uh, doing in a backend that is not you are collecting from the view so you no need to use the mm, same model to represent in here as well if you use the same model suppose the user type uh, won't be null so but if you try to submit the post it will throws me the model validation that it is invalid so to avoid such things you can go and collect only the particular uh, view model that model you can inject like this see now this model uh, the view model I am see because this method the database it's uh, from the view I need only the email password remember me so other stuff see uh, I will get the return that is a success validation mm, after that what is a is a logout because this uh, uh, stuffs at all the column that is created by using the mapping so hopes you understand thanks for watching the video guys I will come back with uh, some uh, new tutorials that will um, make you to help uh, in some level uh, hopes uh, thanks for watching the videos if you have any doubt queries please comment us I am here to um, explain you